G'day and welcome back to the channel. Today we play with jet engines. So I've been investigating jet engines. I love engines. I am all about engines, motorised transport, anything that even sounds like an engine. Stick a footy cart in the spokes of your push bike with a peg. Hey, I'm there, I'm happy. So yeah, this um, jet engine thing, I'm a little bit intrigued. And today I'm going to make a very basic pulse jet engine as part one of my adventure and experimentation of jet engines. So in front of me, you've got this jar. It's just a basic jar. I bought it a few years ago. I used to make pickles. And um, this is going to be my first ever attempt at a jet engine. A jam jar, they're called a jam jar pulse jet engine. Let's have a go. So basically the idea is hole in the top, fuel in the bottom, and light it and it should run. Let's see what happens. So I have just punched a hole in the top. I do think it's too small, but we'll start small and go big because once we're too big, we can't go backwards. Now, the stuff I've seen people use is um, alcohol. I don't have alcohol, but I do have thinners and stuff like that. So it's an experiment. I'll put some safety glasses on and we'll see what we can do. So I've got my welding helmet. I've got some uh, highly flammable solvent. And uh, let's see what happens. Pretty, pretty candle. Hmm. Yeah, wow, that was interesting. So that was racks and grease remover. I will empty that out and put some thinners in there and see how we go. Hopefully a little bit more flammable. And if you are concerned, I do have my fire extinguisher at the ready right there. So let's try this um, thinners, see what happens. Nothing. It's a pretty candle. You know what? That would work nice at a party. Oh. I might um, make that hole a bit bigger, I think. Definitely not the desired effect at all. It's got some good vapors coming off it, obviously, but not enough to get it to start. Alrighty, we just downsize a little uh, smaller jar, a little less fuel, and a smaller hole. We'll see what happens this time. Nothing. Alright, we'll keep stepping it up until we get ignition. No. Maybe it's just not flammable enough in there. Alrighty, bigger hole again. There's all sorts of stuff going on inside there. Just not enough oxygen, I don't think, maybe. Alrighty, bigger hole. Let's see what happens.
Come on. You can do it. Look at it just teasing me. Hmm. See that? See that? Nothing's still burning there. We get them vapors going. I just don't think it's flammable enough. Obviously flammable, but I just don't think it's given enough given off enough vapors. Well, I think I'm going to have to get some alcohol and come back to this because, yeah, this is not happening at all. Nice candles. Romantic. Alrighty, so the stubbornness in me has come back out to the shed with a new jar. This is a jalapeno jar. And... Um, I just lit it and it seemed to work a little bit, so we're going to have a bit of a crack and see what happens. Getting a bit further than last time. Oh, all right. This is still with the um, thinners as well. It wants to go. Come on. There it goes. Yes. Should break in a minute. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. Bam. Crack the glass. Look at that. Success! Ah, time for stage two. Well, it's late, and I'm pretty stoked with that. My first jet engine, that is a pulse jet. That's an actual jet engine, and I'm pretty happy with that. So, stage two, you're going to like it. I haven't made it yet, but I know what I'm making, and um, yeah, hang around for that one. So, anyway, that's it for today. Stay tuned. Be good to your mates, like, subscribe, all that stuff, and yeah, this is fun. I'm um, it's probably dangerous too, but yeah.
It's fun. Engines. Mm. All right. Catch you later. See ya.